I'll keep him busy. Keep who busy? Oh, rabbits are brave. Rabbits are brave. Oh. Hey, you! Twin Twin! Here! Come on! Hold still, you button rabbit! Why would rabbits be gathering nuts? Those silly squirrels must have sent them. Oh, maybe if we add them with some sort of sauce? Huh? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Where, where, where did you get all of those? We just popped over to our island. We wanted to make up for destroying your nut stash. Helping your friends is a sort of rabbity thing to do. Owl Island, eh? <laughs> that was a really, uh, uh, really, really, really bad idea! Incoming! I knew it! You are working with the squirrels! I've got an idea! <laughs> Hope it's better than your last one. Just keep all no. round busy! Surrender, you squirmy squirrel! <laughs> Goodbye, cruel world! Am I supposed to be scared? What is that thing, anyway? Tell him, guys! It's my dad's automated nut gatherer! Perfect for gathering up unwanted tools, pencils, nuts, and taking care of unwanted owls. No cotton tail, not yay. If the cat's back, that means Mr. McGregor's back too. And he's even more dangerous than a fox. I know that for a fact. Yes, that's it. We get Mr. McGregor to scare off Mr. Todd for us. That's right. We get Mr. McGregor to... Wait, what? It's easy. We wake the cat, the cat alerts Mr. McGregor. But how do we get close enough? We can't. But I bet someone small and super sneaky could get through that gap. Oh. Wanna play peekaboo with a kitty cat, Cottontail? Yeah, peekaboo! Mm -hmm. Yeah, perhaps. Okay. Okay. <laughs> She's doing it! She's doing it! Uh oh! I smell rabbit. Ah. Well, uh, you're pretty stinky yourself. <laughs> it seems our little game of hide and seek is over. Yeah, but Cottontail's game of peekaboo is about to start. Let me explain a little something about the natural order, young Peter. Rabbits are scared of foxes. Fact! That's true, Mr. Todd. What's the problem, Pat? But then foxes are scared of angry gardeners. Fact! Oh, what angry gardener? <laughs> oh! Mr. McGregor, stop there, you eethies! <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe it! We made it! 
I mean, I always thought we would, but, you know, phew. Shame we never got any food, though. <laughs> Say never! Uh, uh, you won't escape me now! <laughs> Good old Mr. McGregor! Good old Mr. McGregor? Yep. Lucky for us, he's better at growing than he is at throwing. <laughs> <laughs> Weirdy, fruity, greeny, beanie! Let's go home. Looks like we're having a feast tonight. Who's hungry? <laughs> to run some more Your heart is pounding Those feet are sounding So close to you What can we do? You better run I think I hear I'm catching up to you You're forgetting the sprouts. I just remembered. I don't even like sprouts that much. Blech. Come on, Peter, let's go home. No way. I'm not leaving without those sprouts. They're way too good to leave behind. This time we'll get into the garden without the cat seeing us. I know. We'll tie one of us to the branch, pull it back, then whoosh, catapult into the garden. Grab the sprouts, come back, and we all head home. Um, which one of us were you thinking of catapulting into the garden? Me catapult! No way, Cottontail. It's too dangerous. I should do it. <laughs> Robots! He's seen us. We'd better make this fast. Let's hop to it. We just need to get that sack of sprouts onto the cart and out of the gate. You brought the cart, right? Uh, sort of. What? Uh, we uh, left it on the other side of the gate. Uh, then we'll just have to roll the sack. Come on. <laughs> Hurry. <laughs> Thought you'd come back, did you? <laughs> I've got you at last. When I say jump, jump onto the sack. Uh, you won't escape me now. Jump! Whoa! Whoa! See you on the other side! Come back here! I hope. Well, I've got one of you. Hey! One of Dad's secret tunnels. Sorry, Mr. McGregor, but there'll be no rabbit pie on the menu tonight. Come back here! Ah. Round is attacking. We have to get up there and help. But why? You heard, Nutkin. Only squirrels belong in trees. This time, they don't need squirrels, just three brave rabbits. Oh. Let's hop to it. Shoot! <laughs> Are you all right? Where's Nutkin? I've had it with you noisy nuisances. You wouldn't want to eat me anyway. I have very tough thighs and bad breath. <laughs> no, Peter. Remember the fall you took last time? I know, but... A good rabbit never gives up. Wait, I've got a plan. You two up for some more squirrel tests? <laughs> Don't you have mice to bother? <laughs> Peter's plan better 
to work. Oh, shaky tree. Here I come! Wow, I did it again. It's not even that shaky this time. Hurry, Lily! We're running out of time, guys! No, Peter, wait, we're not ready yet. It'll take Lily forever to untie all those. Let's just say I'm good at knots. Squirrels, do your thing. Uh, you disturbed my rest for the last time, you tailless free rat. Sweet rat, that really hurts my feelings. Peter! Come out, come out, wherever you are. Hmm. Now this is what I call a good hiding place. Thanks, Nutkin. Oh, you earned it, my squirrel brother. There. Told you all it needed was a little fixing up. Where's Benjamin? Uh, he won't come outside. He's afraid of heights. I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> Run, run, run If you catch your shoe, you're done to run some more Those feet are sounding so close to you What can you do? Move around and run We'll be at my dad's clinic in no time Nothing can stop us now, Benjamin Mucky mitts off, Tommy Brock. I saw them fast. Don't worry, I've got a plan. Does it involve frogs, badgers, or owls? All oh, three. Ah, don't come here. Ooh. Did you keep his leg quite still? Uh, quite still, yes. You'll be right as rain in no time. As long as you don't ride down any more steep hills, hmm? Sorry we broke your apple grabber, Mr Bouncer. Oh, no worries, Peter. I never knew I was so good at inventing crutches. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I got you hurt, Benjamin. It was my fault we went too fast in the first place. Are you joking? I love going fast. And we'll go twice as fast tomorrow. But maybe we'll miss the owl part next time. And the badger part. And the hurty leg part. And the rocks. And the cart. And, um, why don't we just go fishing tomorrow instead? Peter? Uh, Peter? Oh, I 
do so love a good barbecue. Me too. Oh, I know a really good blackberry bush for dessert. If I can uh, uh, just show you. Keep uh, still. Uh, no more tricks today, uh, Peter. Now, how do you like your rabbit, uh, Mr. Brock? Roasted? Uh, fried? I'm more of a worms bloke myself. Uh, worms? Oh, so uncivilized. Maybe you should leave the cooking to me. Just hold on to that wriggling rabbit. He is our main course, after all. <laughs> and you too. I need your help. This is bad. Really, really bad. We've got to help him. Yeah, but remember the food chain, Benjamin? We're far too small to take on those two. We need someone much bigger. Someone like Mr. McGregor. McGregor? How are you going to get McGregor? Come on! But how do we get Mr. McGregor to chase Mr. Todd and Tommy Brock? <gasps> there! Huh? What? What do we want his boots for? No, Mr. Brock, we shall not chuck a few worms in to spice it up. You haven't even tried one. Come on, you two, hurry. No, no worms. No worms, no hey, deal. Hey, 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 I've got an idea. Why don't we all go home, sleep on it, and then we can cook me tomorrow. Agreed? Agreed. Oh, agreed. What? <laughs> Think I'm dumb, do you, rabbit? Uh, well... Dinner time. You don't really want to eat me, do you? Young rabbits <laughs> are very chewy, you know. <laughs> oh. 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 What's that? Uh, uh, I'd know that sound anywhere. It's... <gasps> Mr McGregor! Run! Don't believe it. Is this another one of your tricks, eh? If there's one thing I hate more than rabbits, it's smelly badgers like you! <laughs> Not bad, huh? Phew! If there's one thing I hate more than rabbits, it's smelly badgers like you! <laughs> I never thought I'd be so happy to see Mr. McGregor's boots. <laughs> <laughs> of course! <laughs> but, but by the way, did you see where my squirrel tribe went? No, no, Kim. We haven't seen them. I don't understand. I didn't see them leave. And I've got good eyes. I don't miss a thing. Gotcha! <laughs> 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 Well, you won't be bothering me again, ever. Oh, no! Mr McGregor's got Nutkin! <sighs> this is all my fault! It was my idea to bring Nutkin along in the first place! I've got to get him out! Uh, you can't keep us in here! We're wild animals! We need the great outdoors! And Felix gets very sweaty in confined spaces. <laughs> <laughs> Peter, help us! It's too cramped in here! And uh, somebody doesn't smell too good. Uh, uh, we'll get you out, Nutkin. We need that key. It's too high up! And look what's under it! Don't worry, I've got a plan. Operation Free the Squirrels is a go! I'll never get to taste you. Ready? Ready! Uh, can't hold this much longer! Uh. <gasps> <gasps> what? Oh, I see they've already gone. Nutkin! 
Let's hop to it! Pesky squirrels! Come back here! After all that, we still didn't get to taste the giant radish. Never mind. It was only one radish. There'll be others. Surprise! I felt so bad about you losing out on that giant radish that I went out and found this! Roller in, boys! Ta-da! Have you ever seen a radish like it? Isn't this a little hard for a radish? <laughs> Narkin, did you paint a really big hazelnut to look like a radish? What? I don't know how you could accuse me of something so, so, so... Yes, yes, that's exactly what I did. But it, it was Felix's idea. <laughs> oh, well, it's the thought that counts. 